Good morning, everyone. It is Good Friday. Um, not working today. Obviously, I've got a long weekend, but four days. But four days to try and entertain myself for, and I'm already dreading it. I've just woken up in like the worst mood, which isn't unlike me. I'm not a morning person at all. Um, and I did go to bed relatively late, but I'll try not to flash it because I'm not wearing a top. I've been playing um, Animal Crossing in bed for the last little bit. I'm watching a Mr. Atheist video. He's great. If you want to go watch his videos, you should. Um, and I'm planning to stream today, but I have a lot of like house things that I want to get on top of. I want to do laundry, I want to clean the kitchen, um, and I want to tidy up the living room because there's stuff everywhere from um, from other times we've done laundry. So just gonna try and crack on with the day, but I'm willing myself to get up and I told myself if I started the vlog, then at least I would feel like I, I don't know, at least I would feel like I have stuff to do that I have to do now as opposed to oh I have four days to do it I can just lie in bed today also yes I have really dark under eye circles those are genetic I'm <laughs> I've been getting comments and they're like concerned comments I know that the people saying these things aren't trying to be shitty but they're like oh my god like you need to sleep more like you have some really big under eye circles sis I know They've been there since the day I was born. I was born tired. <laughs> They're genetic. No amount of sleeping is gonna make these bad boys go away. Like, look at that. I look like I've been punched in the face. The only thing that would ever make these go away is if I got fillers in my tear troughs, which I'm not opposed to doing, but like, we're in lockdown, you know? So I'm not gonna be getting tear trough fillers whilst in lockdown, um, but might consider it later in life um especially if they get worse like as i get older right now i don't really care <laughs> i'm just a tired person and i have under eye circles and i know people aren't trying to be shitty because the comments weren't worded in a shitty way um but thought i'd answer that question because people are like you need to sleep sis and i'm like i do nothing but sleep sis <laughs> okay that's it I'm a triangle. food shop. Hi. We were just talking about cars. I don't even know why we were talking about cars in the end, but I was saying that because I bought- I, I pointed out a BMW i8 and you're like, I don't like cars that look squashed. It's true. It just looks like <laughs> someone took a big car and went Nye. Um, But either way, I was then trying to make the point that I like big cars and the only car that I could think of was a Honda. A Honda. <laughs> like a, a big ass Honda. Because I know like, nothing about cars. No. Nothing. Not, not anything. <laughs> You really don't. <laughs> no, I don't. It's just never been like a, an interest of mine. Also, because I don't drive. I don't know. I've just never given a fuck about cars. I drive, but All I, I know is I want a mini. That's we, it. <laughs> we used to play. We used to play this game when I was a kid. Where, this is gonna sound so lame. Where uh, if you saw a car you liked, you had to say, "I claim that car," but you had to name the exact car and the exact model of it oh in my God, order you guys to were claim so it. So cool. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's so cool. <laughs> Today has taken such a turn. Let me turn this off because um, it's gonna be really loud in the background. 
Today has taken such a turn. I woke up in such a foul mood, as you saw. I really thought today was gonna be a write-off. I really thought I wasn't gonna get anything done. And then I just called my mum and like called my grandma and had a little family chat and then did a bit of tidying and that's always very therapeutic for me. And now I've got like, I'm in the best mood ever. Uh, I've got myself a little cider. I'm about to stream. Um, I've already opened it because I was shaking it on the way um, home from the shop. Not intentionally. Uh, it just so happened that it was shaking in my bag. So I'm going to be drinking on stream. Can't wait. It's so nice and warm and sunny. I showered, washed my hair, fake tanned, though you can't see because it's only like a, like a tinted moisturizer type thing and it'll develop overnight. Um, yeah, and I'm going to stream, but super quickly. Um, I've ha I had a couple of comments from people being like, what's your stream set up? Like, how have you done it? And asking for like a full video. I don't know enough about it to like film a whole video. My setup was basically like a big clusterfuck of all my friends' knowledge and experience uh, and they all helped me set up. But really quickly, I'm gonna show you the things that I have set up behind me. So this is my really ghetto setup. That's my Discord, um, which you can join. We chat on here and it's really fun. Uh, so I've got my Discord up. I use a thing called OBS, a program called OBS. This is it, this is what I use to stream. So OBS connects to my webcam. That's the webcam that I've got. I've got a little light up here that I can turn on. Oh God, I can turn this on. Where are you? There, uh, and I can like change the color of it, all that. So the little light and the little camera are attached with this thing and it's like one thing. Then I've got a MacBook Pro, that's what I stream off of. I have a second screen that can be plugged into this or into the Switch. To stream, I plug that into the Switch and then it connects to the laptop. And I use a little Elgato capture card, uh, HD60S. So I connect that. That basically allows for you to connect the switch to the computer. Almost dropped my whole water bottle, oh my God. But yeah, this is the whole setup. It's nothing fancy. Um, obviously, I mean, the MacBook is fancy, but everything else is just standard. I don't have like a big gaming PC. I don't have like anything super fancy, I guess. Uh, I just stream using this single screen and then the switch gameplay goes on there and that's the webcam and it all just it all just works i don't know i already had everything sort of lying around from when i used to stream um a couple of years ago i used to do a lot of sims streaming um the only thing i needed to buy really for this was the capture card because you can't stream uh the switch without a capture card so if you're not looking to stream uh, Nintendo games, you don't need it. Um, you can just like play something off your computer. Um, so yeah, I already kind of had everything lying around apart from the capture card and the light. Uh, and I was just using like a little other light before, but it was too clunky for my tiny, tiny desk. So um, I ended up buying that. But that's it, that's my setup. And do you understand now why I can't make a full video about it? Like, I don't know enough. I don't know enough, I'm, I, I have no idea. I just had my friends help me set up, which was very nice of them. <laughs> and that's it. We are two and a half hours into the stream and I've just gone on a little break so I can eat a bit of cheese. But it's going really well. I'm having a good time. <laughs> okay, I'll catch up with you when I'm done. <laughs> good morning, it's Saturday. When I said I'll catch up with you later, I meant I won't catch up with you at all because I ended up streaming for seven hours last night. Seven, seven hours straight with like two five minute breaks in between, which I'm not sure I'll do again. I had the best time, don't get me wrong, I had the best time. But after I hung up, my voice felt so like sore. And also I actually just ended up feeling like a little bit unproductive. Like yesterday was such a nice sunny day. And I went out, like I went to the shops, I got, I had a bit of sun on my face, you know, all of that. But I could have like gone up on the roof terrace, I could have sunbathed, I could have made the most of it. And instead I streamed for seven hours straight. And it was fun at the best time. But then my day was over, just like that, like, 
over, you know? And I, I didn't love that. So I think I'm gonna stick to shorter streams. Um, even though that was a lot of fun, I'll probably keep doing like three hours in my evening, which that seems fine to me. Um, but today I have a very chill day. Uh, things on my to-do list. I need to change my bed sheets and do a whitewash. Um, I need to call Mark. We're going to be on the phone for a bit. Um, and have a catch up. And then I want to make brownies. I think I'm going to call my mum as well at some point today and probably just FaceTime her while I make brownies. I don't know. Something like that. Just kind of feel like hanging out with people and family today. Um, that's just one of the things about living abroad is this now doesn't feel super different, which I'm, I feel really lucky to be in that position because I think if I were used to seeing them all the time and all of a sudden couldn't at all, I would be really feeling that and I'd be really sad, like really sad because I'm such like a family person. Um, like my family are my best friends. So um, I'm grateful that I live abroad because A, I'm not putting them at risk, um, you know, coming in and out the house. It's like, it's not an, an added risk having an extra person in the house, uh, going to the shops and like all those things. But also my routine in speaking to them, catching up with them hasn't changed. I'm still FaceTiming them, like not every day, but almost every day. So. Yeah, that's my to-do list for the day. Change the sheets, have a phone call, make some brownies, um, and play a bit of games, I guess. I want to film a YouTube video um, and play around with some TikToks. I just, I haven't, yeah, I, I haven't had the, uh, the inspiration, the energy, the will um, to put up my big camera and try to sit and film yet. Um, but it's been like four weeks now, so I'm trying to decide the difference between, oh, I'm like, I'm in a rut and like, you know, this is all a weird situation and my motivation's gone for that and I'm a little like wary and concerned of how people will take it if I start uploading videos that aren't vlogs um, and just straight up, I don't want to do it. Um, I think it's a mixture of both at the moment because I really thought it was like a phase. I was like, oh, it's just because I'm adjusting to this routine, but now I'm adjusted. Like, you know, like I'm, I'm neck deep in this new routine and it's just not including sitting down and filming big videos, like big sit down videos. But it's not that I don't want to do, like in my head I want to do them, but physically, practically, I'm not getting ready and sitting down and filming them there's always like something else that I want to be doing. So, I don't know, we're riding the wave. At least this is a video, right? These are, these are, these are vlogs. Um, and I know that the other videos get more views, but these videos get more engagement and I'd rather get comments than views. I'd rather engage with you and talk to you than get views. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, I feel good. I feel great. I'm having a good time. Um, this is all very weird, but all things considered, I'm having a good time, so. What I should have said is, I'm gonna do my makeup, and then we're gonna make a bacon and egg sandwich. Board in the house, board in the house, board. Board in the motherfucking house, board in the house. basically gonna be on the phone all day today. I didn't quite expect that I would jump on the phone at 11 in the morning and end up hanging up at uh, 5 to 7. That wasn't my intention, but here we are. Uh, I I literally spend all day on the phone, which is nice. It feels really nice to just like catch up with people and talk. And I think that's the most important thing in this 
weird time. Um, I'm very lucky, for example, that because I'm working from home, I'm doing video calls, so I feel like I'm interacting with people all the time. But if you're at home, and if you're not uh, working for whatever reason, uh, whether you've been furloughed or uh, have lost your job, try and call your family. If you have a good relationship with them, call your friends. Uh, just make as many phone calls as you can. I think I personally, I don't like talking on the phone, which seems insane, right? Because I spent all day on the phone today, but I can get really in my head about calling people because I just, I, I don't actually like talking on the phone. Um, so I can go weeks without talking to people because I've hyped myself up in thinking like, oh, I don't want to do that. Um, but actually, as soon as I jump on a call, even if it's like 10, 15 minutes, immediately I feel so much better. Like immediately I feel so much more positive, so much happier uh, having had that interaction and having had a catch up. So that's my obvious um, lockdown tip for you today. Make your phone calls, talk to people. Um, it's now too late for me to make brownies, I think. So I'm gonna wait it out till tomorrow uh, because it is a bit late. You have no idea how sick I am of being in my room. How sick I am of being in my house. Today, I'm just feeling it. And I, I seem to be in a pattern of waking up in a really horrible mood. Waking up feeling like super, like just fed up and not wanting to do anything. But yesterday, I woke up in this mood, if not worse, um, and we managed to turn things around. I was in a really good mood all of yesterday. So, we're gonna try, we're gonna try and get me in a better mood today. I definitely need to go to the shops because I realized yesterday, even though I wasn't gonna make brownies because it was too late anyway, I don't have all the stuff. I need to go and buy frying oil, buy vegetable oil, sunflower oil, something like that. Um, because I don't have any. Or I have some, but it's like minimal and I'd rather save that for when we're like making eggs and stuff. So um, I'm gonna have breakfast real quick. I've got an itch. Um, gonna make breakfast real quick, uh, go to the shop, have a shower, and like sort my face out. And then, I don't know, I mean, happy Easter. Like, I don't celebrate Easter anyway. Um, so I'm not all that bothered, but like culturally, it's still like a big family party day. And obviously I'm not at home with my family. So um, I don't know, just gonna have a, a an exceptionally normal day within our new, uh, our new normal. Breakfast has been had. I'm now considering, very seriously considering going out for a run because Part of this funk, I think, is from a lack of being able to go to the gym. And like, that sounds, let me move this. That sounds how it sounds. Like, <clears throat> oh no, we're in a pandemic and I can't go to the gym. Like, I know how it sounds. It's really getting me down because it was such a huge part of my routine and something that boosted my confidence so much and something that made me feel so good. And it's not even about the exercise in itself because I'm still working out from home, but it was the routine of like going out to the house and out to this place designated where like my, my headspace was only on exercise. Um, and I knew that once I enter that building, that's all I'm gonna do for an hour and I'm not distracted and I'm listening to music and that's it. I find it very difficult to get in that headspace at home.
that was a whole, a whole fail that turned into like a bit of a win. I tried to do like, I'm on Shreddy, I'm using the Shreddy app. It's a really good app, I've followed it before. Um, and I've I've done like a lot of the uh, the like weekly challenges that um, that they do. It's a really good workout app. Uh, it's owned by Grace Beverly, who's obviously like entrepreneur queen woman. Uh, she's excellent. Um, but I've done I've done the shreddy like workouts before. I really thought I could get through one today. Could not. You saw me trying. You saw me trying, there was just no, there was just no doing it. I immediately was so out of breath because I haven't been like working out to the same kind of like extreme that I usually do, so my body's not used to it anymore. Um, still out of breath. And then in the end I settled for like a booty circuit uh, video because obviously Shreddy, I say obviously if you've never been on it, if you haven't bought it then you don't know, but on Shreddy you have a home workout guide or like several home workout guides depending on like what it is you're trying to do, whether you're trying to lose fat, whether you're trying to like tone up, whatever it may be. There's lots of different routines uh, and it gives you three a week or five a week, depending on how often you want to work out because I'm at home and I'm living a lot more sedent, uh, a, a, a lot more sedentary lifestyle. That was hard to say. Um, I'm doing five a week now, but I tried to do the first one and I just could not get through it. Um, also because the app moves a bit too quickly and I couldn't go back so that confused me a little and I'm gonna feed that back in the uh, feedback section of the app because I'd like to be able to see what I'm gonna do so I at least know what the circuit's gonna be so I can swap quickly between exercises. I was having like a five second chill but in those five seconds it would immediately go on to the next and I got really overwhelmed like in my head and it put me off and then I was already finding it difficult. So instead I followed one of the like um, real time uh, PT-esque videos and it was like the booty burner which is what you saw and my god am I sweating it is hot in here and this window doesn't open and I don't know why it doesn't open it hasn't opened for a very long time um, but it doesn't open so I need to figure that out uh, and I opened that back one it's very hot but now I'm gonna have a shower make myself my arm looks really toned but it's just because of how uh, I'm sat with the camera anyway I'm gonna go shower, but I feel better. I feel better having got my heart rate up and like made myself sweat a little. I was doing also watching the Animal Crossing in like four speed. And you have found me on my bed again with the fan on, window open, and a stream on in the background because I'm feeling really sick. I feel like lightheaded, like a bit nauseous, and I can't tell if I'm hungry or what, I feel like I've got a bit of a cold coming. Not corona, I'm sure, don't worry about it. Uh, I'm absolutely fine, I just feel a little like off. So I'm just gonna rest. And then I guess I'll finish the vlog off tomorrow and upload tomorrow instead of today. But I'm gonna cut off here for today and just relax. Good morning, that was the full egg. <laughs> Good morning! I figured out step one to not feeling like shit in the mornings. And step one is to make my bed. <laughs> All of yesterday I was so bleh because I didn't make my bed until about fuck you. Living in an untidy space is making me lose my mind more so than usual. I'm already like that, but these days I think because I I live and I work in this space, I will live and die in this space at this rate. Um, the, ti the untidiness is getting to me. So, wake up, make bed, then at least that's done. And then today I'm going to stream. So at least I've woken up with a purpose, you know? And I think streaming in this scenario is really saving my ass because it gives me something to do. It gives me some reason to, I don't know, put my makeup on, get dressed, sort out my house in the time that I have because 
the rest of the time I'm going to be streaming. So, I'm feeling good today because I've woken up with a purpose which I didn't have yesterday. I had things I wanted to do but nothing that I like had to do that I was like, I have timings for that. Um, so I ended up doing nothing yesterday. Did go to the shop in the end, bought myself some fruit. My mum would be very proud. And some biscuits that I have now demolished. So, you know, it was a wonderful Easter Sunday. I hope you all had a nice Easter Sunday if you celebrate it. I don't celebrate it, um, but I, I hope you had a nice one. And you know what else? I am so excited to go back to work tomorrow just because I'm bored. <laughs> I am bored. I cannot wait to have to wake up at 8 tomorrow and have to be dressed by 8.25 so that I can start work at 8.30. This is making me so incredibly grateful for my job. I was already grateful for my job, but like extra now. I'm so grateful to have stuff to do and to be busy outside of like my own personal things because what I'm coming to discover is that when you have unlimited time for all the things that like you want to do it makes it less special to do them does anyone else feel that way like when I'm working I'm looking forward to my time off in the evening so that I can spend it doing things that like I really really have been looking forward to and like enjoy doing whereas if I wake up and I got nothing to do in my day, I don't wake up like, oh my god, today I can spend all day doing the things that I want. To no, I'm like, can't be asked doing any of it. I, pff, makes no sense. It makes no sense. These were the biscuits, by the way. They were in my Sainsbury's for a pound. So I ate them. And I'm not sorry about it either. But don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. I bought a second box. Can anybody let me know how I grow these out? Because I don't have them on this side. They're just on this. <laughs> this is the leftover evidence of the bacon and egg sandwich I just had. Also, all those things. I'm sorry, okay? I just was hungry and I didn't think about it. So hungry, in fact, that I ate it long before I even made my coffee. You know? one of those days but anyway we've got a load of laundry in the washing machine which means i need to take all of this down i just have some bits to put away let's put this milk away it's gonna be a good day it's gonna be a good day i don't wanna be all i ever wanna be yeah. if somebody tell you the usual has happened. I think I haven't got any footage for this vlog and it turned out way too long, but uh, I've just finished editing it, sort of. I need to add this clip in at the end because I my, my battery died. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go. Thanks for watching. Uh, as you are watching this video right now, if you're watching on Monday, uh, Bank Holiday Monday, I'm currently streaming right now. So twitch.tv slash itsbinkyb if you want to come and hang out with me, if you've got some time on your hands on this wonderful bank holiday. Um, I'm streaming, so come and say hello. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, and I hope you're all doing good. Um, as best as you can, as you can see from this vlog, uh, it's been up and down for me. I've been in a really good mood or a really shit mood. There's been no in between. Um, and I know a lot of people are in the same boat. So just know, whatever it is you're feeling, whether you're having a good day or a bad day today, um, nothing guarantees that tomorrow will be a good day again, but nothing also guarantees that it's gonna be a bad one. So, let's just keep doing it over and over again. It's like a Russian roulette. Am I gonna have a good day today? Am I gonna have a bad day today? 50-50 chance. We're all in it together. Don't worry about it. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> but I hope you had a good one. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, and give this video a thumbs up because it helps me out a lot. And I will see you uh, another time for another video. Okay, bye. <laughs>